All right, those of you joining us, we are live in our shop in Elkwood. Here with craftsman Greg Smith. He's about to build some Shinto benches for y'all. All right, so last week I did all the mill work, put all the mortises and the tenons and all the pieces. And then this week it's all just a matter of putting it together. So I have everything numbered which one goes to which leg. They all fit a certain way. What I'll do is I'll get them halfway in. have two different kinds of glue. Uh, one we call panel glue, which dries fairly solid. Um, that's for when you're gluing grain with grain. What I'm doing here is, is grain against grain. Each piece is going to move a different way as it collects moisture. It, it'll expand and contract. This piece is going to want to move this way, this is going to want to move that way. So this, this glue I'm using on this it doesn't dry completely solid. It'll have a little bit of flex to it, but it'll still hold the wood together. It still bonds the, the wood. So now I've gotten that. Now it's just a matter of making it fit. it's not pulled all, all the way together yet. Once I start pounding the wedges in, they'll pull everything together and hold it all in place.
the bases together. I'll just get some glue in the top, mortise. <sighs> Um, most of these pieces are getting natural oil, so I'll go ahead and put the wedges in first. If it gets a stain, I'll pop the wedges out after the glue is completely dry. And after they stain it, I'll put them back in. Amount of glue is pretty crucial at this point, right? Yeah, you want to make sure that you get glue on all the surfaces. Uh, we've learned over the years the correct way to apply glue. I couldn't totally explain it. Oh, I, I just have to get it on all the surfaces. Yeah. I think at one point they were just putting glue on the tenants and then sliding them in, mm -hmm. and all I did was push the glue up the tenant. It didn't get any glue in the actual mortise. So we apply glue to the mortise and to the tenon. You're leaving some room down at the bottom without the glue, so when you push it down, it yeah, fully it covers. Let, let's squeeze too out too. I don't want a lot of squeeze out on the bottom. Yeah. Wedge. Yeah, this will hold the top in place. Later on, I'll come back with a router and cut these off flush. And then I'll do some of the final sanding.
leave that dry for the rest of the day. Probably tomorrow I'll come back and flush these up, check for glue squeeze out, and then they're off to the finishing bed for oil. Alright, thank you. Mm -hmm.